best. <laughs> God damn. Um, technically, I don't need to do this. I just don't remember what the eyes are. Red, red was two. Green is three. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Red is two. Orange was six. No, no, that's not what I mean. I mean the the lines on the eyes, like what the eyes look like. Oh. Yeah. I was gonna do this really quick because I know exactly what I have to do. All right, whatever. That's not gonna take me that long. You have to redo your math. Yeah, that kind of sucks. That's gonna be the one annoying part. Whatever. But be sure to save before you, that happens. Yeah, one hundred percent. I thought I did, but I, you, once again, <laughs> <laughs> just like walking in the wrong direction. Getting we must sidetracked have, yeah, very easily. We must have been talking about something. And I was just May like, have been butthole I was, screaming. Ah, I don't know about that. Probably wasn't about butthole screaming. Why would we talk about that? That's crazy talk. I'm gonna skip this because I know what the fuck it is. I'm still trying, like in the back of my head, I'm still trying to think of someone that like could compete with Scarlett Johansson, and I'm not thinking of anyone. There aren't many. Not thinking of anyone. It's like I said, man. Like I would let Olivia Munn scream in my butthole. I mean. I wouldn't actively go out of my way like I would for Scarlett Johansson and be like, Oh, Olivia Munn, please come scream my butthole. <laughs> you would not pursue no, a butthole screaming not. session? With Olivia, with Olivia, <laughs> Olivia Munn? Olivia. No. Probably not. Bro, butthole screaming. But, like, Emma Stone or Scarlett Johansson, absolutely. Like, I would go out of my way to make that happen. Yeah, Emma Stone's not bad. Bone the stone. Bone the stone, absolutely. Stone bone. Will but, you take the residence key? Yes, I will. But yes, I will. not, not Olivia Munn. I would let her scream in my asshole. I, if she was in front of me and said, "Can I scream in your butthole?" I would not say no. This is this is straight up. This is the longest amount of time we've ever spent talking about one thing. Oh, absolutely, ever. absolutely, yeah, <laughs> like ever. <laughs> I've never done like yeah, especially on recording. Like I've never had a fucking three hour recording session where all we talked about was butthole screaming. <laughs> but it's okay. I mean, even in our own like in our personal lives, like we've had some pretty long conversations, but oh, yeah. nothing nothing this bad. SMP car S- I was just gonna bring that up. SMP. Do not start that now. Don't do it. SMP. Do not start that. Don't SMP. even just drop it. Just drop it. Drop it. Chernobyl. That's another one. You could get away with hanging a billboard that says SMP don't car start company. This. If you hung it in Chernobyl, if you hung it, because in no one's gonna see it <laughs> except for the people with thirteen arms yeah, growing ex- out of their back. Yeah, except for the horrendous mutants. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, please! <laughs> the sounds you were making, I thought you were gonna spit coke like all over everything in my room. I was like, oh no, please! <laughs> I was just, I was so close to. It. I was like, no, please don't. <laughs> No, please, not like this. Oh, God. Not like this. Chernobyl. God, I don't know if I still need the armor key or not. Everything we do goes back to Chernobyl. Everything we do. And I don't get it. Everything. Chernobyl's an interesting place. I would like to go to Chernobyl one day if it wasn't for that, like, horrible fear of, like... Radiation My possible children coming out with three arms. And shit like that. Can you... You, we've looked this up before. You can go to Chernobyl, you right? You can 100% go to Chernobyl. There's, um, there's, like, areas of the place... There's areas that aren't as, like, irradiated. But at the same time, there are places where they're, like, super irradiated. Right, but would you even want to chance that? I don't know. I really don't know. Um... You, you have to... You have to... It's the kind of thing where it's, like, you have to expect that they know the places that aren't fucked up. Like, they have that down to a science. Right, but you know I, I mean? still... It's like, I mean, everything should be down to a science with Chernobyl, but I would not... <laughs> I really not at the time when it exploded. Well, okay, yeah, not back then, but now they probably do. Yeah. But I still wouldn't want to do that. I don't know. It would be interesting. It's just, it's just an interesting place to see to me. Like, just like a city that's just nothing. A ghost town. Yeah. I'm, uh... I'm, uh... So far, I'm uh, doing the exact same thing I did last time. I fucked up that zombie. Yeah, you did. There oh, you go. yes. God, that's so satisfying. Take the self defense gun. Don't read the suicide note, because I read it already. This was an unexpected sidetrack. 
Would have been balls deep in the mansion by now. Balls deep. Balls deep. Balls deep. Uh, I don't... I don't even know... I don't actually think I need that key anymore. I think I fucked up and when it asked me to discard it, I said no. <laughs> Good job. But I'm going to be really careful and make sure I don't need it. 100%. And I'm just going to put it in the box instead of discarding it. Because just in case I do need it, I better keep it. Also, um, this self-defense gun because it's mostly useless. Uh, good enough. What an interesting recording session. <laughs> <laughs> one, one of the best yet. Yeah, it's pretty good. Especially if, if you're a connoisseur of buttholes. Like, this this even trumps sandwich time in Raw. Sandwich time was pretty good, though. Like, sandwich time was pretty fucking good. Sandwich time was really good. It's funny, because you go back and you listen to that, yeah. and it's like... I thought at the time when, when it was happening and when you guys were talking about it, yeah. I found it so fucking hilarious that all I was doing, and you can hear it in the video, I'm just trying to get you to talk more about it. Like, I'm just, like, pressuring you guys into, like, talking more about it. Right, you were, you were definitely a, an enabler. Oh, fuck. God damn it. That should kill him, though. Is he dead? Yes. You, you, oh, you were, you were totally an enabler Yeah, because it was that. fucking hilarious. As I'm listening to you guys talk about it, I'm like, this is one of the funniest things we've ever gotten in a video. <laughs> and it came out of nowhere. All because you said ham and cheese sandwiches, what's oh, your Yeah, opinion? all because I said ham and cheese sandwiches. If you don't know what we're talking about, go watch our fucking Camel Clash. Of uh, Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. This is fucking hilarious. I would, I would I, at some point in the near future when there's a day that you guys are all free and shit. I want to record more Camel Clash. It's just like, we have to get all of us in one place, and that's not super easy. But... And we need more games to do it with, too. Oh, I have a ton of games that we can do it with. That's but. actually a very good point. And other people have games, too. Anthony, yeah. Anthony has some fighting games and shit that we can do it with. Uh, Richie got, like, they came out with a new Shippuden. I know they did. Which would be funny. Because the first Shippuden was kind of an interesting <laughs> fucking series of videos. Yeah. Interesting's one way of putting it. Yeah. I, I don't even, I don't like Naruto, but those videos were funny. <laughs> like, we got some stupid horse shit. Yeah, we did. And we also just got body by Richie. <laughs> like, bad. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, Richie screams into our buttholes. And <laughs> Shippuden. Oh, please. Please, no. If you... Yeah, okay, a guy approaches you. A guy. A guy. He's got a, he's got a nice suit on. He's got a briefcase full of gold. Okay. And that gold is worth, like, a lot. Okay. Like, it's worth, like, you never have to do anything in your life ever again. Like, you're set. Go on. Okay. But the stipulation is <laughs> one of your very close friends needs to scream into your butthole. And he'll give you some choices, maybe. Like, he'll say, all right, you know, but, but among these people. But somebody that you know, and it would be excruciatingly awkward for you, has to scream into your butt. How would that be awkward for me, though? Because you're naked and your friend is screaming into your butt. <laughs> right, but I'm not the one <laughs> screaming into the naked butt. You're, you're not, but you are still receiving it, and that's fucking weird. Not, not as weird as... I think... The one screaming into the naked butthole would be more weirded out. 100%, but I'm not saying that it wouldn't be, like, awkward for you, though. Okay, anyway, go on. So still, the guy gives you a bunch of money. Right. Actually, okay, let's dial it down a little bit. Maybe it's not so much money that you never have to, like, do anything ever again, but it's, like, a pretty decent amount of money. Like, it's, like, did I discard that? Fuck my ass. It's, um, god damn it. It's, um, I don't know, like, 100 grand. Okay. Someone screams into your beetle. One of my close friends needs to scream into my butthole yeah. and I get a hundred grand. Yeah. I would do it. Okay. Absolutely, I would. You wouldn't? Uh, yeah, I guess so. See, the opposite I don't know about. If I, ha if I had to scream into someone's naked butthole for a hundred grand... <laughs> that, two hundred grand. Two, uh, you scream into the butthole, two hundred grand. How long do I need to scream into the butthole? Pretty long time. Uh, uh, until, until they get excited. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Oh, it's just that thought of like someone getting excited because someone's screwing into their bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Welcome to the camel channel. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. I bet when you woke up today, whoever you are, dear viewer, you didn't think you'd watch me replaying the same shit I already did because I fucked up and also listening to us talk about butthole screaming. Reaching 50% of I can't wait for like these videos to start being released and it's like Let's just say you do like one a week. It's like man. I can't wait for next week when they still talk about screaming in the balls <laughs> I was gonna put in every fucking video description like screaming in the buttholes. Yeah, that's still relevant in these videos We're still doing it. Oh, no, it's a scurry shark It's a scurry shark. I put the book thing in the water and I hit the lever Fortunately, with the power of editing, I can just cut it into all the stupid shit. How did we start on the subject of butthole screaming? Do you remember? I think I, um... Oh, I it, mo I it morphed from... It morphed from our, uh... Our, uh... Our colonoscopy with the microphone. Right, yeah. Yeah, it all started there. Yeah. <laughs> the roots come from the fucking microphone colonoscopy. Showing a bird in your or a bat in your asshole, or a mic. We're, we're blasting a like fucking surround sound. sound think of your think of the evolution of that conversation that we had. It went from shoving a mic up your butthole to shoving a speaker up your butthole to having someone scream at your butthole. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what happened. <laughs> That's what we do. That's what we do here at the Camel Channel. Mm. We bring you top quality content about butthole screaming for like three hours. So s about six videos so far. Yeah, so of, far of just butthole screaming and brajol. Yeah, and brajol. Oh, don't forget the brajol. Can't yeah, forget the brajol. That's important, kids. Eat your brajol. Eat, eat the brajol. Eat your fucking brajol. Either you eat the brazole or you don't get any butthole screaming. That's true. No butthole dessert for you. <laughs> no Scarlett Johansson screaming in your butthole until you eat all the brazole. Until you eat your fucking brazole. Dude, I would- you would not- There would be- in no case would you ever see me eat brazole faster. If then Scar if Scarlett Johansson <laughs> was going to scream in like, your butthole. Like, it's like, you don't get Scarlett Johansson screaming in your butthole until you eat the brazole. You, I would I look shove. away, and I look back, and the brazole is gone. It's gone. Yeah. I believe it. Absolutely. I, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I... I need to go this way. Time to do your math again. Yeah. I'm actually, I'm pretty close to being where I was. Right, you gotta do the math again, though. Yeah. Pin, pin, pin. So you, you can either have Scarlett Johansson scream in your butthole, but you get nothing from it. Okay. Right. It's just Scarlett Johansson screaming in your butt. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. Or. 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 Um, why is that locked? I don't have the key for that yet? Okay. Or. Um, what was I going to say? Or, like, Mark Ruffalo screams <laughs> in your butthole. Why would I want Mark Ruffalo to oh, scream? Hold on, we're getting there. Mark Ruffalo screams. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Ruffalo <laughs> screams in your butthole, right? Yeah. And you get like two hundred grand. But Scarlett Johansson will never scream in your butthole ever, ever forever. <laughs> so you either take Scarlett Johansson screaming in your butthole, or you take Mark Ruffalo screaming in your butthole <laughs> for two hundred grand. That's that's tough. It's tough. That's right? that is tough. Because it's like you you have it, man. You can have Scarlett Johansson screaming in your butthole. Something every man would clearly want. <laughs> clearly. Absolutely. Uh huh. Because if you don't want Scarlett Johansson screaming in your butthole, you have something wrong. Yeah, with you. you have something wrong with you. You have a problem. I don't know what I would do. What would you do? I remember what I did, I think. Um. I don't know, man. I would probably, uh, that's, it's tough. That's a question I asked you, and I'm not even really 100% sure, like. 
how I would go about that. I don't know. I can... I could have Mark Ruffle stream to my bubble, <laughs> get the 200 grand, and then possibly buy Scarlett Johansson's butt-yelling experience. And I can have it both. Maybe, but something tells me Scarlett Johansson makes more than 200 grand just for being in the Avengers. Right, but... She could have another two hundred grand just to scream in my butthole. You think she'd go for that? Uh, maybe two hundred grand. Scarlett Johansson. Get on the phone right now. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, hit us up. A Mark Ruffalo calls. Yeah, Mark Ruffalo. Will you pay us two hundred grand to let you scream in our assholes? And B Scarlett Johansson. Will you take that two hundred grand from us to then scream in my butthole? To then scream in our assholes. <laughs> like so, he has to. Mark Ruffalo has to pay us. To scream grand in our ass. And scream in our ass. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but but that's the thing is that like you know, just like with everything. Right? Some people are into the giving, some people are into the receiving. Maybe Mark Ruffalo's into the giving. <laughs> that's a lot of giving though. Mark Ruffalo Mark Ruffalo wants to scream in people's buttholes. And give them money at the yeah, same give time. Give them money at the same time. He's a charitable fellow. Both with his voice and his funds. I did it. I'm the best. <laughs> God damn it. I God did it in under hell. I had to do it again. Your intro. <laughs> what do you think people people think? I thought about this. I thought about this in under hell too. What? Where it's like, let's say hypothetically, because this has to happen, right? Because like, uh, the the first the first part of like any series we puts up it usually does a bit better than like all the other like subsequent parts and right shit. yeah so people are just like stumbling on part one and then and then watching it right they like don't know us right how do you think someone feels or reacts when they click on oh underhell part one that's interesting and I, <laughs> I don't think this was the intro for underhell part one but just hypothetically I'm just throwing it out there like oh okay oh Resident Evil part one that's interesting I'll watch that <laughs> so then they click on it and then the first thing they hear is a fart <laughs> and then us laughing like do you think that drives people away or does it like help our case depends on the person I guess because either way I'm gonna put that in oh absolutely I did it I don't I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like... I, I've, I've wondered that myself. No, the intro to Underhell was hello in my butt. Part one? Yeah. Like the beginning? Absolutely it was. Oh. Okay. But eventually it became a fart. Or was that Cry of Fear? No, what? that no that, was, that wasn't that was Cry of Fear. Cry of Fear was the burp. You're right. I think Underhell became a fart, though. It did. At some point. It did. Yeah. Alright, the one annoying part of this that I have to redo is the fucking math. Yes, take some. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just be smart and don't put that as the first intro. Nah, fuck it, a fart. <laughs> People love farts. People like farts. Do you think that would be like a bonus? Like... Scarlett Johansson screaming into your butthole. Like, if you have to fart, do you do it? <laughs> no, <laughs> I hold that shit. <laughs> I do not fart. This but goes that... in. This dude. This goes hand in hand with like, do you clean up your asshole like beforehand? You know, maybe she's into that though. You don't what, know the farting. Yeah. Well, then that's something you need to ask her beforehand. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's something you need to get out of no, the way. No, but the thing is though, start. is that something you ask her before you start, and then she gets weirded out? And it might not ever happen, or like, do you wait till you have to fart and then you ask her beforehand? Do you, are you? Would you be down if I farted right now? Is that okay? I hope it's okay. I really need to please, fart. Please tell me it's okay. Do you think that the sensation of somebody screaming in your butthole would like loosen? Oh fuck! You did that. You did that wrong. Do you think that you poisoned yourself? Oh god. Oh no. You might have to redo all oh of that again. Oh my god. Oh my god. You might 
you might have to redo all of that again. Fuck me! I'm just gonna go back in real quick and just check it. It's probably fucked up. I've I've never had that happen before. I don't mind, I'm good. Oh, okay. Yeah, everything's fine. What were we saying? <laughs> uh, does someone screaming in your butthole loosen... Oh, yeah, yeah, what I was saying before, I, I almost fucking flipped my lid, was, um... Does somebody screaming in your butthole, like... Do you think the sensation of somebody screaming in your butthole, like, loosens up your sphincter and, like, makes you fart more? I don't... Like, do you think, like, the sound waves reverberating through your asshole... Just, that would like, have to be one powerful scream. Like, that would have to be M Maria Brink status screaming. Okay, so then let's let's go down the route of... Um... 1 plus 6 equals 7. Let's go down the route of, like, instead of somebody screaming in your asshole, right? You're right. It's like a really powerful sound system. Just being blasted into your ass. You're being ass blasted. Ass blasted. By, like, a really strong sound system. Okay. What do you do? I, I mean, like, do you think that that would, like... It'd have to be one powerful sound system. Right. Like, a really loud, fucking crazy strong... What did I just do? I did 10 plus 7 equals 17. Now I need 17 plus 3. This is what I fucking did last time. And then it blew up in my face. Look, check it. You would be number 3. Oh, now fuck, fuck me, I guess. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, powerful sound system in the ass. I don't know. Somewhere out there... I think we, I feel like we've, we've talked about this before. In fact, I know we've talked about this before because we talked about this in Underhell. Where it's like, I have this, Fetishes. I have this theory. Yeah. Where like anything that you could possibly dream of, somebody out there is into it. Like anything that, no matter how fucking ridiculous you think it is, you come up with anything on the spot right now. I don't give a fuck what it is. Any weird sexual thing that like gets somebody like super hard, they're into that. And somebody out there is into it. And it's like, I'm willing to bet somebody has blasted sound waves into their asshole because, like, the sensation, for some reason, or just, like, they rub their butthole against, like, a subwoofer <laughs> and just blare it. They would love my last car. Let's put it that <laughs> would way. love my... Just sit on my truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was another almost spit coat yeah, everywhere. I saw that. Oh, God. Jill would uh, love sound waves in her butt. Work those glutes. I can pick this up now because I have the room. We're going to go kill the plant. We're going to do the thing and then we're going to fuck off. And we're right back where we were. And I'm going to save this time. And I'm not going to get killed by the hunter in one shot like a fucking asshole. <laughs> That's the plan. Uh, this way. I've never, I've never talked about screaming into people's buttholes like for you're, this long. You're dating a girl. Things, okay. things get very serious, pretty right. serious. Like you're, you're dating for about like let's say four years. I like where this is going. Okay, I know eventually this gets the butthole screaming. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm just waiting this. to see how. You, you, you propose. You get engaged. Mm -hmm. Day before your wedding, mm -hmm. she says, "Listen, <laughs> I have something <laughs> that I need to ask you that I, I want to do." Okay. Will you let me scream in your butthole? Is it her into mine? Her and oh, right. I, well, okay. This can go either way. She asked you <laughs> if I'll if if she could scream in your butthole. Do okay. you do you do it? And does the marriage still happen? Well, wait. Okay. Here's a question. Okay. If 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 I should refuse, right? Yeah. She gets angry and leaves you. Oh boy. Who is it though? I, I don't know. Is it so, Scarlett Johansson? No, 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 no. <laughs> it's it, like you meet a girl and you you like you date for 4 okay. years and then you get um, engaged. You know, I would probably like I don't know, that's hard because if it's when it's when it's like the day of the wedding or whatever, day before or day before, still. That's like really close and I feel like that's too close to just be like to call it off, like that's really close. Like you, you would almost you would almost be the asshole for calling it off, even though that's weird. 
It's like the day before. But then again, she should have told you that she's into butthole swimming. Right, exactly. Like before. Yeah. I don't know. What would you do? I, I would... I don't... If it gone that far, like we've been dating for four years and it's the night before the wedding, I would probably be like, okay, this is a little weird, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because at that point, you know the person pretty well. Well, obviously not if you didn't know that she wants to scream into your butthole. Fair point. Do you then begin, because here's what I would begin to think. I would then begin to wonder, like, in what other ways is she fucking crazy? It's <laughs> weird that she's not showing because me. Because screaming in the buttholes is directly related to psychopath. Well, I mean, not like that. Like, I'm not saying she's going to stab me in my sleep just because she screams in my asshole. But, like, <laughs> uh, you know, you still have to wonder, like, that somebody's maybe a right, little yeah, weird. Right, yeah, like, what, because... what else is going on there that I don't know right, about? Right, because I, I, I'm willing to bet that completely stable average Joe people typically are not into screaming into someone's ass. Like, you like, never know. Do you have something you want to tell me? I, I, I would love to scream <laughs> into, into Scarlett Johansson. Into Scarlett Johansson's <laughs> And it all comes back around. Well, that's something we never like discuss. Like, we're we're for the past three hours we've been talking about her screaming into our buttholes. Would you scream into her butthole? 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Does she ask for specifics? Like what? I like... have to be wearing a banana costume? <laughs> no, not like that. But sure, that too. <laughs> you have to wear a banana costume. And also, like, specific things that you have to say. Or can it just be like... I'll, I'll say, I will scream anything she wants. Okay. Into her butthole. Banana hammock <laughs> camp sandwich! <laughs> <laughs> Colostomy municipal titties! <laughs> Brain. She wants me to scream things into her butthole. I'll scream. She wants me to just yell. I'll just... scream poetry into it. I'll scream Shakespeare. Absolutely into her butthole. Yes. I will. Sh- I will scream. This plant looks like a butthole. I should scream into a, it a little bit. Be sure to save this time. Oh, one hundred percent. I will not make that. But be sure to not be talking to me about butthole screaming. Oh no, that's that's still gonna happen. Okay. Absolutely, I'll just I'll just make sure you say it. <laughs> make sure I'll say it. While we're talking about butthole yes. screaming, yeah. Ooh. Hey, I'm a stone too. Better. I would scream in her butthole. Well, yeah, but I mean the the primary topic was like between the two, like who, you know, right? Who like if I had to choose one, I don't yeah. know because. Even going the opposite way, me screaming into their butthole, that's still a tough choice. That's still a real tough choice. Yeah. Because either way, it's like... I don't know. I mean, it's like... It's basically the same thing at that point. Not really. No, I mean, yeah, it's not, but it's like... Because... You're pretty much getting the same thing out of it. No, but... No, not... Well, yeah, I guess, but... You screaming into their butthole, like, you're looking at their butthole. Uh, Yeah, fair point. So it's like, who has the better kempt butthole, do you think? I don't know. Between the two of them. Because I would probably say Scarlett Johansson. I don't know, because Emma Stone is younger than Scarlett Johansson. That's a fair point. Which means less... Less less build-up? Less mileage. (laughs) What whole mileage? There's less, less, you know, gook in there. Right, yeah. Yeah. 